That's a big one. That's a big one. Mm. Oh my goodness. I think that Nicole. We're getting there. What's up guys, David Williams, Elite Series Pro. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little rundown of how I would target Lake Hartwell in March, um, a Heron Lake, pretty much any, any Heron Lake you can do this. Um, but the, the big key to finding bass um, on Heron Lakes is finding the bait. Uh, and the best time to do that is early in the morning, uh, I like to run around and use my electronics and uh, run in the back of these pockets. It's got these little ditches in them. It's not really a, 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 you know, some of them may have a little creek channel, some of them may just have a ditch in it. Um, but those, those herring will run up in those ditches like that and uh, the bass will follow them in and uh, they'll, they'll just make their way with them. But uh, I, I'll, uh, you, you, may, you may run around and hit, uh, you know, 10 or 12 different pockets and some of them will have no bait and all of a sudden you hit one that's got uh, bait in it. The herring, uh, you know, the way I like to target them once I, once I find uh, the, the herring in them, I like, one of my favorite things to do is a, is a, lipless, uh, a lipless bait. Uh, this is a Duo Realis. Um, the, that's their G-Fix, the rattling bait. Um, you know, I'm gonna throw something that looks like a herring or a shad. Um, but those bass, you'll actually, um, you'll actually prob probably see some of them busting or coming up real shallow. Uh, so I want something that just runs just a little bit up under the surface. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can target that, uh, those ditches. Uh, like I say, I like the lipless crankbait. Um, and I'm, I'm going to you know, throw that on like a medium action uh, caching rod. But, um, but I'm also going to target them with a, uh, a jerk bait of some kind. Um, something that looks like a heron or a shad um, and, and then another thing is, is, is some kind of square bill um, this is this is just a, a, a realis square bill um, I throw a couple different ones um, you, you can you know you can you can crank those ditches and uh, but those those bass uh, um, uh, move up and down those ditches and it'll typically happen uh, for the first few hours every morning and it's a good way to get uh, Get some big fish in the boat and and you can catch a lot of fish like that Another thing, you know, maybe a swim bait some kind of swim bait a lot of guys use like the uh, the, the pulse jigs the just a regular uh, You know like a 3.8 Kitek or zoom swimmer, you know something like that uh, Catch you a lot of bass uh, but after the Sun gets up um, and and one thing I do that's uh, probably a little different is is I'll start moving around the outside of the ditches and and I'll flip the docks. Um, I'll go to flipping the docks with a uh, you know something uh, just a half ounce jig, uh, Zoom Z Crawl Junior trailer. I'm going to target every dock around where I found that bait at because the bass probably didn't leave. Some of them may may follow the herring back out deeper. But a lot of them are just going to slide up under some cover and be sitting there and, and uh, it's a good way to catch a big one after the, after the sun gets up.